The IGF has become, I think, an important movement. It's a place where the broadest range of internet issues can be discussed by the broadest range of people and organisations and governments who are affected by those issues. It's actually become, or it started as a global movement. It started uh, with the UN's decision uh, to adopt the IGF back in 2006. So we're coming up now to 10 years of the IGF and the fifth year of the Asia Pacific uh, IGF. And people ask me actually how long the IGF will continue as though 10 years might be enough already. But um, it's not enough. And internet governance is going to be a challenge for us all for as long as the internet keeps growing and changing. I don't, I don't think anyone here can see the end of that particular uh, process. Uh, indeed, the Net Mundial meeting, which happened earlier this year, confirmed this and it called for the IGF to continue and to be strengthened. I come from APNIC and from the technical community, and for me, one of the really important things about IGF is to make a critical bridge between the technology of the internet, which is really understood by quite a small number of people, and its application in society, which involves uh, these days half of the world's population. So there are key technical issues about the internet which have created and allowed the internet to grow, and I think the most important thing is to understand and to recognise them, to recognise what it is that's made the internet work and work so successfully. Also though, there are a, a set of major societal issues. There's privacy, uh, online commerce and crime and content regulation. And these have also become hugely important. But in every case, there's some relationship between these issues and the technology of the internet. And we sort of take the internet for granted, including some of the, the key components which, are, as I've mentioned, make the internet the internet. And it's really important, I think, for these things to be understood and to be sustained while we actually address the issues that are, that are coming up and that will keep coming up uh, in the internet governance uh, environment. People in the technical community often ask me what the IGF is all about and how is it relevant and I tell them that it's a place where I think we as technologists can be really useful in advancing the internet, uh, the security and the sustainability of the internet. It's a place where we can find friends and allies for that common cause. So one thing I'd like to mention here is that the Asia-Pacific region has not had a great level of participation in the IGF globally. I would say that considering the population both on the ground, on the planet and on the internet these days, we have been uh, underrepresented in the IGF movement. So the other, the other bridge that we need to build here and build together is one between this region, between the Asia-Pacific and the rest of the world to ensure that the concerns that we have here are best reflected elsewhere. A very good example of this, possibly the best, which has come about just in recent years, is the final adoption of internationalised domain names, which is, has been of critical importance here in this region, and I think which has been catalysed by people in this region. So that's an, an incredible achievement. Uh, it's a job, actually, which I, I think most people know has only just started because, of course, uh, IDNs in the, in the DNS is one thing, but being able to manipulate them and use them in all of your internet applications and in all of the processes that support the DNS is another thing. So the job is, has just started and there's more to do there. But, uh, as I say, it's something that's critically come from this region. The other things that we have in this region that we can face alone or together with the rest of the world uh, are, for instance, the incredible growth that is going to happen here. We have uh, half of the world's population and we have by far the greatest potential for growth of the internet in absolute numbers. The number of people who will come on the internet in, in future years, the majority of them will come from this, this region. And that's something that's uh, obviously unique to us. Part of that too is the challenge of providing access to the most remote and developing environments uh, on the planet through the internet, from um, 
the mountains of Bhutan to the islands of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. So in this region these are priorities and we have a lot to say about them and a lot to learn and that's the point of the IGF, to be able to bring people together to exchange ideas. As they say, it's not a forum for decision making and that's quite important, but it's a forum for decision makers and it's a forum for all of us. So just in, in concluding, I've got a couple of things to ask of you over the next few days. First is for everyone here to please engage actively to contribute to the discussions that are going on. And, and remember that the best contribution that you can make is often a question. Because if you're wondering about something that you're hearing uh, or that's being discussed, then I think you can bet that you won't be the only one. You'll be thanked for raising issues for clarifying issues that we all share. The second request is to really act as a bridge yourselves and report what you're hearing here over the next few days and what you learn. Report back to your colleagues, share what you learn uh, online, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Weibo, or anywhere else. And so you share that experience. For the organisers of the individual sessions, a reminder to you all that the reports that are being uh, that can be compiled, that you can produce here in this, um, in this meeting, the reports of your sessions are really important. They're going to be read by other people. They're going to provide an important record in future of this event. So please think about that. Think about how what we're doing here will be reflected and will actually influence what's happening in the rest of the world. That's all from me. Uh, I really do look forward to the coming uh, few days and I really hope that we all have a, a great time here together. Thanks for being here and uh, see you soon. Thank you for your views. Uh